Okay, today we're going to learn how to use Transform Each tool in Illustrator. Um, first, we're going to open up this file that also gave us a preview. Um, okay, so we, I made this quick little dot thing. Uh, what you're first going to do is select all if you're using Command A, if you're using a Mac. Um, I want to, let's say I'm not happy with the spacing between each one. I want to go to, you're going to have to do two different things. First, we're going to scale it up. We don't actually want to change the scale. We want to keep it the scale that it was, so like this size. But in order for this whole thing to work, we need to change the scale a bit. So let's do 115% um, larger. Okay, so it looks bigger, but you actually want it to look like this in the end. All right, so next step after you made it, scaled up as you go to tram you right click on you select all right click transform transform each and we scaled up 15 so you want to reduce it again by 15 and that'll create it have it be at the same scale that it was but just further spread apart okay and click all okay and you've done it good job all right so let's undo now let's pretend you want to move in the motifs a little bit closer rather than going, you know, like this, giving it a little more of a packed look. Okay, let me undo. And then you select all. You kind of go through the exact same type of thing. Um, so let's do transform each first. And let's make it a little bit closer together. So we're going to increase this the scale of each motif individually in its space by 10%. Click OK. And so now that's 110% bigger than it was, but we want to keep the same scale. So let's go back to transform scale. Um, we'd reduce that by 90 since we went 110% larger before. So uh, now it was the original scale but they're just a little bit closer together. The, the spacing between, you can see here, they're a little bit overlapping. Um, if you don't want to care about the scale or the size of what it was, you can just leave it like this. But usually I like the scale that it was. I just want them a little bit, you know, closer in or more spread apart. Um, so you can save that. Split that. Um, and there's this other Photoshop file. You want to make sure you convert the layers, convert each motif to layers. Um, you can also import the Photoshop file in, and I'm just getting rid of the edge pieces here, because when you import in, and your the size of your artboard in Photoshop will cut off the edge motifs. So if you don't want that to happen, make sure your file in Illustrator nothing is coming off of the edges. But for now, I'm just gonna. Delete these edge ones. And I'll lock the background. Okay. And I'll select all. These are all individual pieces here. So select all. And I want to hide all these weird lines, squares. So I'll do Command H to hide it. If you want to bring it back, you can just click it again. Command H. Now you can just see the overall bounding box. So let's spread these apart. Let's do a scale. That sounds good. 15%. Let's do 110. Actually. Push OK. And we want to rescale it back down to 90 so that we have the same scale that it was, just a little bit more spread apart. Click OK. And there you go. You, if, you'll see there's the little pieces here that go outside of the bounding box, art, the art, artboard. You can just kind of extend your area a little bit so it shows up. Um, you can also, we'll do this, it's not going to look good, but go back to Transform H. Make sure the scale is at 100 because you don't want to change the scale. If you want to, let's say all of these are facing up and down. Um, let's do that actually. Let's do some of them. Whoops. There you go. Got to show that. Sometimes you forget that you're 
tight ant. Okay, well, you'll get the idea once. Okay, so we have these, and they're all kind of facing the same direction over here. Not these guys. Okay, so let's say you want these to be tossed. You can go transform, beach. Let's keep the same scale. And then we're going to rotate them 360. And then you click Reflect XY. Only if there's no words or lettering, because if you do that, it's just going to look backwards. And then Random. Make sure Random is checked. That's an important one. You don't necessarily need to have Reflect XY. Those will still toss. Um, but this kind of just gives it a little bit of variety. Um, so that doesn't look that great. This is a little bit better. So you can see it just kind of pre-tosses it for you. And then you can, of course, adjust it if you don't like how it's tossed it. But it kind of gives you just a preliminary, quick, so you don't have to be so calculating in how you toss it. Okay, so let's say we like how that layout looks. Go to File, Export, Export as Desktop here. Let's just replace this one. But let's make it a PSD export. Now this is going to enable uh, opening in Photoshop as layers, as opposed to saving as an AI, which would just open flattened. So let's quit that. Don't save. Let's open in Photoshop. And let me bring this over here. Now you can see all these things are in their own individual layer and with the background as a different layer, with as a, an original color fill. That's how I had it in the beginning. So it's kind of cool. Um, so hopefully this helps. This is what I use a lot, especially not so much tossing unless it's a, already a vector image. Um, but it helps a lot with uh, separating, like increasing or decreasing the space between your motifs. So it's really helpful. So hopefully this is a cool thing that you guys all just learned. If you have any questions, just comment, or you can email me at hello at meganicoledesigns.com.